I would love to get a Mallow and Lana, of course. Let's go! Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Got a great one for you here with Celebi VMAX. And while Celebi VMAX is the focal point of the deck and what I want to highlight, we also get some help from our good friend Orbeetle. So let's take a look at the card here. Celebi VMAX, 310 health, grass type Pokemon with the curative forest ability. Now this ability is really cool. It allows you to heal 20 damage from each of your grass Pokemon once during your turn. So that's not 20 damage to one Pokemon, that's 20 damage from all of your grass Pokemon. So I like to employ this ability in a sort of hit and run style strategy where I'll attack with a VMAX, be it Celebi or Orbital, and then I'll retreat that Pokemon to the bench after it's taken a hit, allow it to heal up with the Curative Forest, and then bring it back out later in the game. We also have Max Plant. The attack does 130 damage. And it's not that great damage wise. I mean, there's certainly way better VMAX attackers out there, but it is nice for grabbing your other Celebes and your other VMAXs out of your deck with that effect. So I like to use this Pokemon as kind of an early game setup. And then we transition into the Orbeetle, which by the later turns in the game is probably doing a little bit more damage. Of course, Eerie Beam here is the ability. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may put one damage counter on each of your opponents. Pokemon. Nice little ability. It's going to get some damage on the board so that your Celebi VMAXs don't feel so weak when they're only hitting for 130. And then GMAX Wave comes in 50 damage and does 50 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So this is good in a lot of cases, of course, against ADP. They have three energy attached. You're going to hit for 200, but it can kind of backfire in certain ways because against something like an Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX, they might opt to discard both water energy with that second attack, leaving you doing only 50 damage. So Orbeetle in and of itself is a strong attacker in certain situations, a weaker attacker in other situations. So it actually is kind of nice to have the two Orbeetle for when they have a lot of energy attached and Celebi for when they have no energy attached. So I like that a little uh, dynamic about the deck. We also come in here with that healing strategy, and the Mallow and Lana. So in a lot of ways, this deck is kind of a modified Orbeetle deck, but it has that consistent healing that the Orbeetle doesn't. Of course, Orbeetle has Cheryl, but that makes the game last a little longer. That can be a little grindier, and you rely really heavily on your Lily's Pokedom on the turns that you need to Cheryl, because then you often lose a lot of your, you know, energy on board when you Cheryl. And then another thing that I don't like about pure Orbeetle VMAX decks is that when you're playing against an Inteleon player, they're going to go ahead and snipe and spread all their snipes to the Pokemon that have energy, meaning that Cheryl is going to have to discard all that energy. It's just a whole mess. So Mallow and Lana and our Celebi VMAXs are how we heal our Pokemon. Of course, Mallow and Lana discard two cards from your hand and you can heal 120 damage from the Pokemon that you moved to your bench. Now, of course, again, this is a modified, you know, Orbeetle VMAX deck in a lot of ways. So we're going to have those four Lilies Polka Doll just to be able to set up our bench Pokemon. The last Pokemon that we employ here is Snorlax. Brittany making a return to the channel. Say hi, Brittany, in the comments below. Gormandize, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may draw cards until you have seven in your hand. I love this for this deck because we're going to attack with VMAXs, so we can afford to sit behind a Snorlax or two while we get our Celebes and Orbeetle set up. One weird inclusion in the deck that I want to explain is this Turbo Patch. Now, when you're looking at Turbo Patch, you're saying, hey, JW, this can only work on basic Pokemon. Of course, we have our VMAXs that we're trying to use. Normally, Turbo Patch, you might see it in like a Zacian V-based deck, but here we have it in a VMAX deck. Why? Well, I've seen this list with things like Rillaboom. People have been playing it with Rillaboom, and I wanted to take out the Rillaboom to make room for more cards that I deem maybe a little bit better. So Turbo Patch allows us to get those early aggressive attacks while not sacrificing the space that a Rillaboom line would uh, would need. Of course, you'd need a, you know, maybe a 3-2-2 Rillaboom. You might need a couple of Rowlet and Alolan Exeggutor. Uh, all of a sudden, it just gets really messy there with the amount of Pokemon that you need. So Turbo Patch, I like in here so that you can, if you have a Celebi V on the bench, go ahead and Turbo Patch to it. And then the next turn, you can evolve into the Celebi VMAX and you got two energy attached. We also have, of course, Boss's Orders and Marnie. I just want to talk a little bit about why we don't include any research in this list. 
I feel like every card in here is really necessary to winning the game. So I didn't want to discard any of these cards. Especially important are the energy. You'll see in these next few games that we whiff energy a lot. Um, and of course you would say, well, research would draw into the energy a little more frequently, but we just didn't, wouldn't want to be in a situation in the late game where we had discarded a bunch of energy because we often need them to either retreat or of course just attach every turn to get our attackers built up. So that is the list, you guys. I hope you enjoy these next few games with Celebi VMAX. My heart goes out to you, Celebi. I think you honestly should be played a little bit more than you are. Really haven't seen uh, many other people play in this deck, but uh, maybe that'll change with this, with this list. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and also subscribe if you haven't already for more great content in the future. Now let's take a look at Celebi VMAX. Hands up in the chat if you've ever played a game with Cella BV Max. I'm expecting no hands. You won the flip. This is like one of the most forgotten V Max Pokemon. It's like when we made a video with Meowth V Max. I was like, I swear if if I didn't realize that I like had an extra code card of a Meowth, like I would never have, I would never have, uh, have made that deck. It's like the same with Celebi. Like if I didn't rip multiple Celebes, like I never would have thought to use it. Gormandizer, Gormandizer, oh, you're a Gormandizer, baby. Let's get some music going, too. Let's get some music going, too. There we go. All is right in the world. <laughs> Ooh, whorehouse. You hate to see it. Got a great turn for next turn, though. So they got... That guy going. Okay. I think they're gonna go for it here with the uh, poltergeist, which is fair. Um, yeah, that's fair. I think we laid the beetle down. We're looking for obviously the grass energy. Um, we'll see if we can get that. Another Sobble A. Eh? Huh. Seems like a... Okay. Go there with the research. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Poltergeist? So we could like gust up something and pass, but I think we should Marnie here to try to, if we can two shot this Gengar Mimikyu, I'll feel really good. F bro, F. <laughs> not only did we not two shot, we didn't find, um, we didn't find another, another poke. Okay, that's fine. We did get the, uh, we did get the U-turn board, which was good. Adam, I'm so sorry, dude. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a story about the worst week end of my, the worst, I, nay, two day period of my life 
and I'll tell you it gets better. Okay. I... <laughs> I was just telling this story the other day, too. <laughs> it's so bad. All right. I was moving into a new house. Okay, this is like junior year of college. We had gotten this house together. We were all going to move in. It's like first time off campus. I was really excited. I go off to a Pokemon tournament. After I move in all my stuff, I go off to a Pokemon tournament. I lose every single game at that tournament. And when I say every single game, I mean every single game. So I, it was a best of three like match set. I think I played Mike Fouché there, by the way. He probably has no remembrance of this time at all. Um, they played Avery, bro. <laughs> They played Avery. They played Avery. Um, I it was best of three. I didn't win a single game. I played side events. I didn't win a single game. I went like 0 for 9 on the day. I did not win a single game. Um. I come back. Guess what? Guess what I come back to? We missed again, dude. <sighs> guess what I come back to? You'll you'll never guess it. Yeah, that's right. A flooded room. A flooded room. That's right. I had not even unloaded my stuff. So I'm a music major, right? I have a lot of paper. I have a lot of like, you know, music. Everything was in a cardboard box. I had to throw out half my clothes. My bed, I had to find a new bed. I actually think I slept with the with the bed frame for like a couple weeks. It was like kind of moldy and stuff. But yeah, you can imagine my like surprise when I see like all my music is just like done, done for, for sure. Um, and then it gets better. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend of six and a half years at the time calls me over and she's like, hey, we need to talk. And you know when they say we need to talk, it's never about anything good. And she's like, yeah, JW, I, I can't do this anymore. I need a break up. And so I lost my tournament. I lost my music. And I lost my girl. All in the span of two days. F's in the chat, boys. <laughs> it was rough, man. <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> so, if, yes, so add a moral of that story, you can come back from the lowest lows to have some of the highest highs. So... It, uh, it definitely did get better. It was for sure a much, much... I'm in a much better place right now. I know, it definitely sucks, though. I, I feel that pain, for sure. I feel that pain. I'm sorry to hear about it, but I think I think anybody that's gone through a big breakup will tell you that it it does get better. It does get better. And I I would never be where I'm at right now if I didn't go through that. So <laughs> There you go, Mike. 
So true. I think we don't want to play Avery, but I'm like really concerned at our lack of um, at our lack of energy. Like it's it's really kind of frustrating because I think if we could just get a Celebi or two set up, maybe we'd have a pretty good shot. And like, oh, my gosh. And they're playing like. They probably have a second fan of waves that I'm going to get hit with here. Avery again, bro? What the heck? Could I knock off two Inteleon? Um, like with Celebi, like gust him up. But I need energy to do that, you know? I guess I could. Certainly is possible. I mean, it might not be one of many relationships like my wife, you know, she. Uh, her and I, that was that was her first relationship, so. All right, Mallow and Lana. Curative Forest. Curative Forest. Pretty bussin'. Bussin' bussin'. G-Max, why? Why? We are gonna take a couple of damage counters, but it's for the greater good. The greater good? I am the greatest good you are ever gonna have. I almost don't even want to play Avery, right? Because then they get to discard their their Gengar Mimikyu and stuff. What the heck? Somebody help. Somebody help. All right, we can take a knockout here. I think it's what we have to do. <laughs> Right? Like, what are we doing otherwise? Um, we're doing 150. Yeah, that's a knockout. G Max Wave. It's um, it's actually the Orbital Show, but with with Celebi backup. I would like to attack with Celebi. I just being straight up, I'd like to attack with Celebi, but we have not hit energy. We have 12 energy in the deck uh, and we played like all four of our Marnie to try to dig for them. And then we found none. Did they pick? Yeah, they pick. So if we play Avery, then they pick. Shall we get a Mallow and Lana? Not quite. Curative Forest. Curative Forest. Um, are they are they just not using this Inteleon? That's so based. They could have gotten a knockout. I thought, right? That's great. Let's go there. Get another B. I'm a B. I'm a B. I'm a I'm a I'm a B. I'm a B. I'm a B. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a B. Let's go Avery. What did they discard? This Inteleon, probably? Oh, Sonic. Let's go, baby. So we do not want to retreat the Orbeetle. We just want to do as much damage as we can. We're looking for a Malo and Lana off the top, actually, because then we can win the game. New 130.
They're gonna boss what? Ooh, Aichi Mama! Oh no! Ay caramba! Ay caramba! Okay, okay. I see you. And I see you, boo. But you just need to evolve this Celebi. No big deal. No big deal. Imagine me being scared. <gasps> we have no more! No! 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 We lost! Oh, we lost! No! Oh, it's disgusting! We lost, dude! What the heck? I know, I know, there are no more left. I, I understand. <sighs> That's so sad, dude. What the heck? We got no energy this whole game, bro. Uh, no gust, no gust. No gust. Oh, they don't even need gust. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. The ultimate healing deck, we couldn't even bring down Dragapult. All right, all right, all right. We need to make some... We need to make some big changes to this one. All right. We're gonna break the deck, don't you worry. Okay. Uh, yes, please. Okay. What song is this? This is a great song. $20 to the person that can name this song for me. Look at this start though. Hoggy start. We're going to be able to deplete our whole hand basically. Oh, no way. Wait, you guys can't hear it? I've been jamming out to this music the whole time. <laughs> no. No way. <laughs> ah. Classic me. Um we got to fix that post haste. Oh, it's so funny because it always shows up. Um, it always shows up in. Um, how about there? Uh, let's see. Is that too much? Oh, yeah. See, because now I'm getting like a double. Oh, I remember why I did this. Oh yeah, now I'm getting a double. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Where's my $20? Sheesh, dude. It's gonna make me bankrupt, bro. I gotta turn it up now. Okay, I gotta figure that out off stream. I'm gonna turn that off a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Oh, 
I can't believe it the whole time because I can see it on my audio levels. That's so funny. Okay. Mmm, I don't like this guy. This, I think, is probably what keeps us from being a, a real solid deck here. Just the discarding of the energy is too much. Okay, I've never played Super Mario Odyssey before. What's that experience like? And I've never played Super Mario... What's... There's another one, right? What's the other Super Mario? There's like Super Mario Odyssey and Super Mario... Super Mario World or something? Hello, my wife. Oh, hello, J1. Yeah. Uh, Galaxy, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Okay. So Super, Mar Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, I've never played that one. Or Mario Maker. Okay, so I just like don't play any of the Mario games. I take it back. I have played the handheld Mario game. You know which one I'm talking about? It's like the uh, Game & Watch. The Game & Watch series. And I did play a little bit of Sunshine. So, yeah, yeah, so that's, that's what we're dealing with. The ROM hacks for Sunshine are really good. What, uh, what is that about? Like, talk to me a little bit about that. ROM hacking sunshine. Like what it, what is different about it? Would it kind of be like radical red Pokemon stuff? But is it like anything changed? Like is it, is there anything different? Cuz I remember that Super Mario Sunshine was like extremely hard to play. I remember it just being like terribly hard to play. I mean, I was, I don't know, nine at the time or something. So like, yeah, like I was gonna get, you know, bodied cause I just like a little idiot, but. What is going on? I feel like my opponent's turn has taken 40 years. Water! Water! Thank you so much, Z Teffers, for the follow. Appreciate you. Uh, quick ball. Oh my gosh, dude, come on. <laughs> uh, gormandizer, gormandizer, oh, you're a gormandizer, baby. Okay, let's go there. Let's go there. Ah, the updated graphics. Okay, that, that seems like it would be of interest to a young man like yourself. Or my myself, I guess, in this case. Okay, I'm thinking if we make one more edit to the deck, it's going to be to put in like one or two scoop up net because we literally lose to ADP if we do not get the Orbital VMAX next turn with a Mallow and Lana, which we obviously cannot do. So, um... I don't feel so bad otherwise, but like we just we're going to have a run rough time. 
Oh, that's cute. Super Mario Sunburn. I like that a lot. That's cute. That's really cute. Okay, Picazard, what you about to do, bro? What you about to do? What you about to know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you call it Mr. Mental Freeze? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, tell you what, if I ever have uh, a modicum of time to play a video game, then I will do that. I will revisit Super Mario Sunshine. There's a hack for Twilight Princess to 4K? No way. That can't be true. That's too good to be true. I loved Twilight Princess and the one. Like, frankly, the one redeeming quality about about. Twilight Princess. Was the fact that it. Um, was in like just looked beautiful. All right. So we're going to do this. Uh, we'll be done. We need to take this thing out. The I played the Wii Twilight Princess. Yes. Yes, I played the Wii Twilight. I wasn't a I wasn't a noob. Come on. I think I was playing GameCube Twilight Princess, bro? Come on, bro. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Moist? Is this the LDF build? It is not. It is the FDR build. So how about that? How about that? All right, my opponent's really struggling. I think they have a boss in hand and they want to know if they should use it on the Orbeetle on the Celebi or just Retreat and ADP. I think they want a Gust here, but... It's fine. Let's go! Hey, thank you so much, Ryan, for the 23 months. Much appreciated. Happy almost second birthday. Speaking of GameCube hacks, y'all ever play Project M? I feel like this is the right crowd to ask that question. Yo, the whole game is flipped in the weave. I had no idea. But I was a Project, uh, I was a Project M stan. For sure. For sure. That game was so good. Yeah. Yeah, 2 3, you get me. All right, the full setup Lily's Polka Doll. Um, do this. We'll do this. We'll do this because it doesn't matter if they have boss like it doesn't matter. Oh, that's weak. That's times too weak. Should we take a knockout here and then they come up with this? I think we have to take a knockout. And then this comes up. I don't know. Maybe it's not good. I, I, I'm worried about them taking a knockout on this Orbeetle, but there's nothing we can really do about that. So we do get a grass energy. That's big. We just want to see all the energy flow right into our hands. This is going to be kind of a, a dingus to try to get rid of.
That's so crazy, Ryan. Yeah, I thank you for uh, reaching out, by the way, Ryan. Two years, man. Two years next month. Yeah, that would be true. That would be true. All right. Because our what you got. Just no boss. I mean, it's it's like kind of impossible to think that they don't have boss here. I do like that they have Echoing Horn in the discard pile. So normally these decks don't play multiple. Yeah, Ultimate Raid, dude, I, we're in it. We are definitely in it still. I would love to get a Mallow and Lana, of course. Um... Hmm. Let's go. Oh yeah, what's that? Oh, you you wanted to you wanted to try to two shot me? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, that will not be happening today. Uh, it comes at a dire cost, though, but it's it certainly seems worth it. Ooh! We're down two boss. Okay, we're going to need a boss probably on this ADP. Um, we can afford to lose a VMAX, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I have a sneaking suspicion they're going to come up with the Zappy. Because that kind of worries me a little bit. Um, they're going to come up with the Zashin. Huh. I really don't like that play, I don't think. But it is what they've chosen. And we're going to heal 60 damage. Not that that's too big, but it brings them down to, what, 100? We could maybe retreat into this. I think I want to attack with the VMAX. I'm trying to, like, route the prizes here. But I'm pretty sure I want to attack with the with the Orbeetle. Yeah, I just don't know what they're doing. Maybe they have a switch in hand, but why would they have discarded this? I'm just very confused. So we're going to do 170 minus, you know, a little bit. Another Mallow and Lana. To whom do I owe the honor? Um. <sighs> Call me crazy. Call me crazy, but do I want to retreat here? Force them to have Gust. And a switch. But I really want to swing into this. But I could swing into that. Probably have switch into this. I, I'm just really hesitant to lose energy here like that. I think we go here. I think we just Eerie Beam. And then... We G-Max wave. We just hit for as much as we can. Um, and then we force them to retreat. They retreat into this. We gust up the ADP. Uh, knock it out with ear Ore Beetle. Eerie Beam. And just try to do eerie things. That's a good analogy there, Ryan. Yeah, the Celosaur when it had like the four shamans. That was super weird. <laughs> that was a bizarre deck for sure. I 
Man, we have missed just drawing cards. I like really want to... I mean, I want to Marnie. I want to attack. Take your prizes. Come on. Come on. Get a dog, little loggy. Get a dog. Get yourself up. Okay. That's not it. All right, boss. 260. Do we want to take this out? Or do we want to take our three prizes? I think we'll do this. Take our three prizes. Because then it gives us a little bit more Mallow and Lana potential. We got one boss left in the deck. Yeah, I think we want it for the Mallow and Lana. The kind of like secondary cool thing about the Celebi VMAX is that you get to you get to take Pokemon to your hand, which you can use to discard with Mallow and Lana. So I think that's kind of cool. It's like a neat little like side bonus. Um, so now we're hurting for energy. We're hurting for. Boss, of course, could just win us the game. We can get into the Lily's Polka Doll. But just like drawing multiple Malo and Lana would be great. Or energy. Like, I almost want them to Marnie us, to be honest. His next few top decks are going to be crucial. So quick ball here. And we're going to Dene. Don't. No, don't drop Galarian Moltres. It's a trap. Okay, now we could draw boss to win. I mean, we could have drawn boss to win the game there, but like, why would you do that? Ah, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I'm like thinking of a universe where they have like a they have like a Mallow and Lana of their own. And then I because I've seen Zosh and ADP lists with Mallow and Lana of their own. And that gets real trippy. So the problem with hitting into the Zapdos is like they um they're gonna rip off an energy. They're gonna rip off the uh the energy here. So We need to figure out something a little, a little better. I so wish that was in play. <laughs> no. Wait, that's good. Oh, that's good. That's good. Bless. Bless up. This is good for us. Okay, so they're going to swing into this Celebi. Oh, no, they made a mistake. That was a huge mistake. They needed to take off the energy. Because we can do retreat. I mean, they don't know that we have Mallow and Lana, but... And we draw the boss! We can't actually... They made the right play, but it was not correct. <laughs> ah. Alright, so now we... Now we Mallow and Lana. We discard our basics. And then we go for win next turn. And that's it. We have boss. We have boss for game. Salary's gonna do it! Celebi's gonna do it! Come on, baby! No Marnie. I need all that no Marnie energy in chat. No Marnie? Oh, man. It's gonna be a photo finish here. Alright. Picazard, what you got, buddy? What you got, buddy? 
No, no, <laughs> no. Okay, now we need to draw an energy. Now we need to draw an energy, no. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> How did they know? How did they know, dude? Wait. Now we don't even need boss. What the heck? What's going on? What is going on here, actually? We have so many outs in our deck. We got like six energy left. We got you two. U we got three U-turn boards. Two U-turn boards. We got two Mallow and Lana. We got Marnies that could get us into energy. We got, um, yeah. I mean, I guess that's about it. But like, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. <laughs> He's done it. Celebi V Max with the Max Plant. Goodbye, ADP. You're done, bud. G. G, let's go.